Hello and good day everyone, I'm Han. Today, we'll be looking at two Intel B660 motherboard from MSI. One is the B660 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4 and another is the B660 Morta Wi-Fi DDR4. We'll be going more in-depth in their features, similarity as well as differences, hoping that you can make a more informed decision on your next motherboard purchase. However, in this video, we won't be making any gaming or productivity benchmark as those will vary very heavily based on your other components such as CPU or GPU. Let's begin. The main differences between the B660 and the Z690 is that the B660 does not support CPU overclocking, but it retains the memory overclocking support. High-speed I.O. lanes will also be less than the Z690, going down from 38 to 24 with max USB 3.2 Gen 2 and Gen 1, as well as USB 2.0 being less overall as well. Max SATA and PCIe lane from the B660 is half of the Z690 as well. But due to the lessening of these features, pricing of the B series board is overall lower than their Z series counterpart. Both the Tomahawk and the Morta uses a 12 plus 1 plus 1 phase layout and are dual rail supported, meaning they'll both have two 4 plus 4 pin power for the CPU and a 6 layer PCB. Both board also features a beefy extended heat sink at the VRM areas which will help with the cooling of the VRM. Now, let's go through the I.O. of these two motherboards. Both boards will feature the Realtek 8125BG 2.5GB LAN. Other than LAN, it comes with Intel AX201 chipset that allows for Wi-Fi speed of up to 2400 megabits per second and Bluetooth 5.2. For display outputs, if you're intending to use the iGPU from Intel, both boards will have one DisplayPort 1.4 and one HDMI 2.1, both of which are able to display up to 4K 60Hz. For USB, both the boards will have one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C for the back and one more internal one for casing with USB Type-C. For USB Type-A, the Tomahawk will have one extra compared to the Mortar, four against three USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A and one more USB 3.2 Gen 1 internally for casing with USB 3.0. It also has four more USB 2.0 at the back and two USB 2.0 internally for front casing USB or certain AIO RGB control. Both board comes with the standard array of 3.5 mm jack and optical out. However, Tomahawk comes with a newer version of the audio chipset that is Realtek ALC 1220P instead of the Realtek ALC 1200 from the Mortar. Both boards will be able to support up to 128GB of RAM running in dual channel and both will be able to handle up to 4800MHz of RAM with XMP or RAM overclocking enabled. Both the MSI board also comes with the PCIe 4.0 for the main 1x16 lane that comes directly from the CPU. This ensures good compatibility with the current generation of graphic card which are the RTX 30 series from NVIDIA and the RX 6000 series from Radeon. However, other than the main PCIe 1x16 lane, the other PCIe lane from both this B660 motherboard will be running only at PCIe 3.0, so do take note on that. In terms of other PCIe lane expansions, although being only at MATX size, the Mortar actually has the same amount of lanes as the Tomahawk with both having an additional full X16 lane running at PCIe 3x4 configuration and a single 3x1 lane. That being said, the additional 3x1 lane of the Mortar Wi-Fi may be difficult to access once you drop in a GPU, so do double check on that first. Next, we'll be taking a look at the storage options for these two motherboards. For storage, the Tomahawk comes with 3 M.2 slots and Mortar with 2. All the M.2 slots supports PCIe 4.0, meaning you can get a Gen 4 NVMe without having to worry about it running at Gen 3 speeds. All of the M.2 slots will come with a M.2 Shield Frozer, with the Tomahawk's 02 and 03 slot sharing one extended heatsink together. And both of them will also come with easy M.2 clips. That allows for easier installation for M.2 storages. Both boards also comes with 6 SATA 3 slots for older SATA drives. In terms of internal headers, both the board will come with two 3-pin 5W ARGB headers. However, 
the Morta will have one less 4-pin 12V RGB header against the Tomahawk's 2-4-pin. In terms of fan header, the B660 Tomahawk have plenty amount of it with 7 4-pin PWM fan headers, one of which will be the AIO pump header. Whereas the Morta, being a smaller MATX board, will only have 4 4-pin PWM fan header and one will be for the AIO pump header as well. Lastly, it's nice to see that both boards include a pre-installed I.O. shield, something we builders appreciate. Also, on a side note, the Morta Wi-Fi does come with a silver extended heatsink, which could be a nice option for anyone looking to build a white build. There you have it! The B660 Tomahawk and the B660 Morta. Before I wrap this up, I would like to give a special thanks to MSI Malaysia for providing us both of these boards for us to do a video on. And of course, if you're interested in building your own 12th gen with either of this board as well, you can always feel free to check with us at our Facebook page or WhatsApp us. Until the next one, stay safe everybody. I'm Han. Bye-bye!